Introducing the horses, race number nine. This afternoon's ninth event is the fifth leg, first division, Ohio Sires, two-year-old filly pace. Racing one mile, a purse of $16,000. The one is a son of, or rather a daughter of Nuclear Siren. First crop of Nuclear Siren, owned and trained by Joe Wilson of Powell, Ohio. She makes her sixth career start. Donner Van Jr. driving Nuclear Bid. The uh, two is a daughter of Tucson, Hanover. Over the Bad Boys stable of Richwood, Ohio, Terry Holton training. With seven starts, she has three wins and a record at Raceway Park, 157-3 and three, with over $28,000 in earnings. Terry Holton driving True Tucson. Post number three going to a daughter of Tudor Scooter, owned by Nina Sams of Chillicothe. David Skaggs, the trainer. A mark at Chillicothe on the county first circuit, 203 and 2. She has earnings of over $2,500. She comes in from Ohio Sires. Ryan Holton driving civil suit. From post four, a daughter of chairman of the board, owned by Ellen and Mike Havens of Asheville. Jim Arles Jr., the trainer. A side of downs record of 159 and 4. Earnings of $36,000. David Miller driving Ellen's pick. The five is a daughter of chairman of the board. Owned by Peggy Carter of Londonderry, Ohio. Charles Carter, the trainer. With a mark at Norwalk, two minutes and three earnings of $10,000. Steve Carter driving a CC Dragon Meadow. From post six, a daughter of Tanner's big guy. Owned and trained by Dan Purdue of Greenville. With a mark here at a side of downs, 159 flat earnings of $3,200. Eric Ledford driving Pepe Sombra. A roan daughter of Falcon Elmahurst, owned by Jeff McCarty, David Little, and Henry Russell of Ohio. Carl Hitchens, the trainer, with a qualifying mark of 159, earnings of $2,800. Coming in from Northfield Park. It's gifted debutante in Jim Daly. The eight is a daughter of Rocky Bogart, owned by Peggy Warren of Rawson, Ohio. Matt Kendall is the trainer with a mark at Wampa Canada, 203 and 3, earnings of $6,500. Jeff out driving uh, Kelbrook Sioux. And rounding out the first division fifth leg of Ohio Sires from post number nine is a daughter, first crop of nuclear siren. Oh, by Howard and Doris Armstrong of Connersville, Indiana. Trained by Joe Osig with a raceway park record, 158 and 3, earnings of $16,000. Joe Osig Jr. driving Ideal GG. One play show perfect to try fact wagering for the upcoming ninth race. Fifth leg of Ohio Sires, lining up and moving in. The gate swings into the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Civil Suit from the inside, who's first for the lead. CC Dragon Meadow from mid track, him away second, far outside. I'll deal GG, I deal GG, looking for good racing position. Also away in fourth, it's the uh, Rona Philly. It's Kelbrook Sue as they race into the first turn, gifted debit down to the outside. CC Dragon Meadow set of the early pace here, but Ideal Gigi looking to drop in behind her. Civil Suit is on the inside in third. True Tucson is now fourth. Opening quarter 27 and one fifth. Coming through the stretch, and now the leader is CC Dragon Meadow. On the rail, Ideal Gigi, a perfect trip behind the leader. Civil Suit follows in third. True Tucson is about to move to the outside in fourth. Inside five, gifted debutante to the outside. Ellen's pick is sixth. Taking the cover, seventh, Kelbrook Sioux. At the rail and saving ground, uh, eighth as they approach the half. Pepe Sombra far back. The trailer is nuclear bid. The half, 57 and three as they make the turn to the back stretch. And it's the seven to one CC Dragon Meadow with Steve Carter aboard leading here three parts of a length. But True Tucson is now moving up, and True Tucson applying heavy pressure. Inside in third, Ideal Gigi. Perfect trip for Ellen's pick, who's drafting with cover in fourth. With that cover in five, third over Kelbrook Sue. Buried to fifth on the inside is Civil Suit. 
tightly packed here as they reach the three quarter mile marker 127 and CC Dragon Meadow has put away True Tucson but True Tucson is still there catching her second win now Ideal Gigi on the inside is waiting for racing room as they move to the top of the stretch with less than an eighth of a mile to go and down the stretch they come and CC Dragon Meadow looking for the upset here Ideal Gigi is the closest to challenge but CC Dragon Meadow responding to the challenge CC Dragon Meadow in front by two. Second was Ideal Gigi and uh, third Ellen's pick in 156 and three. Ninth race is now official. The 5-9 Perfecta, $48.40, 48 40 Five nine four trifecta two hundred fifty three dollars forty cents two fifty three forty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, trackside is the official winner. Race number nine, the fifth leg, first division of Ohio sires. Number five, CC Dragon Meadow. A bay daughter, signed by chairman of the board from the Dragon's Lair mare, Dragon Flower, owned by Peggy Carter of Londonderry, Ohio. She was bred by the Pickwick Farms. Charles Carter trains Steve Carter in the Sonki. Her fourth career win and a big win this afternoon, lowering her lifetime record by four full seconds. Today's mark at 156 and three fifths. Tracks had to make the trophy presentation. Board members of the Ohio Harness Horseman's Association, Mr. Hank Kaufman and Dale Roof. 